Lesson 8 from your science book. Some properties of water. Water is the most valuable substance present on the earth. All living beings require water for their survival. We use water for a number of purposes such as drinking, cooking, bathing and cleaning. Let us look at some important properties of water. Physical properties of water. The following are some physical properties of water. Water is considered as matter because it occupies space and has mass. Water has no color, colorless, and has no taste, tasteless. It has no smell, odorless. It is present on earth in all three states, solid, liquid, and gas. Solid state, ice, snow-covered mountains, glaciers. Liquid state, water, rivers, ponds, lakes, under the ground. Gaseous state, water vapor, air around us. It has a fixed volume, but no fixed shape. It takes the shape of the container it is poured into. Now let us perform some activities to understand the important physical properties of water. And children, they have demonstrated that through two diagrams showing the activity. So when you go through the lesson, please go through them. Water solutions. When two or more substances mix together and are evenly distributed, a solution is formed. The substance that dissolves is called the solute and the substance in which the solute dissolves is called the solvent. A solute and solvent together form a solution. You can dissolve many substances in water. Observe the picture given alongside. A spoon of salt is mixed in a beaker of water and stirred. The salt dissolves in water completely and forms a solution. Similarly, sugar also mixes with water to form a solution. Here, salt and sugar are the solutes. Water is the solvent and the salty and sweet water are the solutions. After making the solution, sugar or salt will not be visible in the solution. Alum and honey also form solutions in water. Water is called a universal solvent as it dissolves many different solutes into it. Conditions for making a solution. The following are some conditions which affect the making of a solution. If you stir the solute, for example sugar, in the solvent, the solution is formed faster. If the solvent, for example water, is warmed and the solute is then added to it, the solution will be formed in less time. The solute dissolves faster in a solution when broken into smaller pieces or powdered. Increasing the quantity of the solvent helps in forming the solution in lesser time. Some of the common uh, soluble and insoluble substances we are going to study about. Common, soluble and insoluble substances. The substances that dissolve in water are called soluble substances. The substances that do not dissolve in water are called insoluble substances. Let us understand them by performing an activity. Children, again they have shown you an experiment there. You please go through that. Now, objects that float or sink in water. Objects that are heavier than water sink in it. Objects that are lighter than water float on it. A stone, spoon and coin sink in water because they are heavier than water. Wood, sponge, feather, plastic items and oil are lighter and float on water. Now, wrapping up the lesson, let's go through the points. Water is a colorless, tasteless and odorless liquid. Water is present on earth in all three states, solid, liquid and gas. Water has a fixed volume but no fixed shape. A solution is formed when two or more substances mix together uniformly. The substance that gets dissolved in another substance is called the solute. The substance in which the solute gets dissolved is called the solvent. 
the substances that dissolve in water are called soluble substances the substances that do not dissolve in water are called insoluble substances now children the experiments given in this lesson are simple so i'm sure you can perform them you can see how something dissolves and what the solvent is and what the solute is and please read the lesson and go through some of the new words and examples of soluble insoluble substances the properties of water all that is required to be learned okay bye